Welcome back everyone. My name's Stacey, I'm a UK eBay reseller and in today's video I'm going to show you what I've got from two different auctions. So this is auction one. I won't tell you what I paid for each individual item because I, I realised on the last video it takes me too long to match up the orders to what's here. But I'll tell you the total amount paid including VAT is £181.72p for everything you see here. I'm going to give you a quick rundown and guesstimates of what I think I can get for each item. So, first we've got this, this isn't for sale, this is just to put in one of the aisles, so I ain't got to keep dragging ladders from one aisle to the other. Same with this one, this here again, that's not for sale, that's just for at home to, um, well, dry clothes on. So we've got a little record player down here. I don't know what brand it is and it's basically spares or repairs. But let's just say spares or repairs in that condition, £10. Racking. Not very big, but any racking is better than no racking. So that obviously will just be staying in there to store stuff on. Vintage Bush Radio. Get between 10 and 15 for that. Three figurines, one of them's Royal Dalton, that one. So about 20 pound. These here are not Royal Dalton, they are, I don't know how you pronounce that. So I haven't researched them. And that's that one. <coughs> Let's just say £10, £10. <coughs> bag of a vintage bag of vintage golf clubs i haven't researched each individual one but quick glance they don't look great condition and i can't spot just off the off the looking any decent brands but i'll just do that as one bundle for between 30 and 50 and i've already got some over there and i've got some listed somewhere else and they do sell in ready-made bundles this one here is a vintage, um, I can't even remember what you call them now, flying jacket maybe, I can't remember the name, I paid up on that, I think that was like £27, pound. but I'm going to aim for between 60 and 80 for that, <laughs> nice coat. Got this one here. I do wear wood mirrors, and that just seemed unusual. So that I reckon I'll get forty quid. Bag of records. What I do with these is I would check, like I'll go through them and cherry pick any that are worth selling on their own. So. Let's just say I'll cherry pick the ones that are worth £10 and the bulk of it will just get put with this lot and then when I've got a big amount of that I will then just post that on Marketplace and sell it this bulk for 30 quid or something. Got a vintage sewing machine. Shock horror, I always bloody buy them. Rarely sell them, but when they do sell, they sell good money. This is, yeah, I can't pronounce that, but let's just say, <clears throat> as long as it's all working, it's got a foot pedals case. If that's all working, I would say I'll get between 50 and 100 for that one, but if it's not working. £30 spares or repairs. Right. 
these here. I did research these. The little samplers. Can't remember exactly what they are, but they're really old. They're from the 1800s. When I've researched them, prices were all over the place for different versions, but between 30 and 60 each. So, quite a nice little find. This is a, I don't know how to pronounce it, tapestry or tapestry. Believe it or not, these actually sell well. I get them in a lot and they sell pretty fast. About 20 or 30 for that one. What's this? Yeah, that I think is just a print. Maybe that was just included in the um, bundle. When you get stuff, quite often you've got to take the rubbish that comes with it. Including that mirror there. This mirror, get about 40 for that. I sell, whenever I list them, they sell fast. Boy, where's the brand on it? Can't remember. Bentley, I think it's called. No, it did say somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Good night. <laughs> There's a Bentley piano, obviously. Don't know why I keep saying that. That panel there is not missing, they just forgot to bring it because all these panels come off when it was in the back of the van. That one there they just happened to leave at the auction house, so they're going to um, bring that when I next bring which would be Friday. That was five pound. That's why I bid it on it. I don't know why. Although it's cheap, I think they still only go for around the hundred pound mark. You think that's a lot of money, but that will sit around for months, maybe even years before someone actually buys it. And as you can see, it will take up a lot of room. I'll try our marketplace, see if I can get it sold on there. And then these little heaters, there are three of them, different sizes, but it's small, medium, large. So let's just say £10 for that one. £15 or £20 for that one. say about 30 or 40 for the bigger one and obviously it's cold right now so they're flying out. any heaters I've been listing have just been selling fast I got these because I don't know why no I do I ain't gonna get them all out but I've got four packets of these I don't know why I got them <laughs> Let's just say five or ten pound a pack. I don't know how much they are in the shops. So let's just say a five or a pack. Well, four packs. That is twenty. Twenty pounds. Get it, man. So <laughs> probably paid like a couple of quid for that lot. Listen here. Paint them so far off the uh, what do you call it? Canvas sign. Don't know who it is. Is that on the back? Um, no, they'll have 
have to figure out who that is painted by. But I sold one recently, similar design picture as well. Smaller, but the frame was exactly the same with a little velvet touch around the outside. And it was smaller, it was like probably that big. And it sold for 30 or 40 pounds. This one, I'm hoping will reach around the 50 or 60, possibly more. Oh, it's broken. That's a nice one. <clears throat> and then we've also got this vintage oak mirror. Vintage oak mirror. Um, I think it was oak. That is really heavy. Watch it fall out and smash. I would say I could get between fifty and a hundred pound for that. I'll see if I can. Um, I'll clean it all up, but I'm also going to see if I can bring this back up to make it look nice. Right, so Zoe. Depend on how it looks when it's cleaned up. I may um, I may aim for hundred and just come down. And then this one here. This is from nineteen seventy nine, signed by Mike Knight, and there's a poppy field. Painted. There's a few bits of damage on it. But nothing that can't be uh, repaired. Plus, from a distance, it looks like part of the picture because you've got all these white like daisies. Anyway, less of that. I reckon that's an easy forty pound. I think. Yeah, I think that is it from this all. Follow me. Show you where my dad keeps his gun. I'll show you the next one now. Right, so, there's all this, it's all just dotted around here, there, and everywhere. So, this is auction number two, different auction house, secret location. So, in total, including delivery, delivery was £40. This came to a total of Two hundred and seventy-two pound and twenty-six p. And I will give you again, give you some guesstimates of what I think it's worth. This year, I got one of these at. It's an electric golf trolley. I got one at a previous auction, and I remember researching them, and they can actually reach a hundred pound plus. Obviously, you've got to test it, see if it works. But as long as it all works. Um, can't see why I can't get £100 for it. Don't know what that's like. So fingers crossed that works. Again, records, same business as before. I'll just cherry pick the good ones and then bulk out the rest. Oh, there's records down there as well. Speaker stands, don't remember bidding on them. They must have just been included. Right, on to the good stuff. So this is a little um Christmas. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. This is a Christmas globe. I ain't gonna um take it out because it's all in its polystyrene and that. But these actually, I can't remember, I've researched it before bidding on this one. I'm pretty sure it went between 30 and 50 online. Ignore that 18 pound label. And then, it's easy, I sell this sort of thing a lot. And believe it or not, you get about 30 quid for that. It's just a lockable case. Quite cool things really. So yeah, so 30 quid for that. 
Um, well, I bid it on this. I've done it online. So that is just a load of random stuff. But I've seen that. And online, you can't really... You just get one picture like that. And I thought it was an, a wireless Apple keyboard. But it's not made in China. Rubbish. So that's just good for the bin. This was separate. Don't know if anyone else remembers these. <coughs> but when I was younger, in a couple places that I lived, this is an electric meter. You have it on the wall and you put pound coins in it. In here. And then every now and again your landlord would come around, open it up, and get all your pound coins out. And they go for good money, like in the hundreds, some of them. But low end, about 100 quid. And uh, I think I paid about 20 for that. And I noticed they got another auction with another one of them in it. So I'm going to be bidding on that one as well. And then in here... This here is, uh, is a speaker in there, which goes to that lot over there. There's, I can't remember what that is. It's like a mixer or juicer. Juicer. I paid a fiver for it. 20, 25. Obviously, it'll sell better around the summer. This here, <coughs> Humax. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a good brand. Some of the stuff can go for silly money. Um, as long as it all works, it'll be tested. Like I said, some can go for really good money. Some are just bog standard between, let's just say I'll get 30, maybe 40 for that. But I'll research it first before listing it. Because I could end up, it could be like a £100 model. Printer. Don't know why I keep getting printers. Hate printers. 30 quid. Again, I'll research it. Might be a good one. Might not even work. Then I might just bin it. This here, I really like this. It's a vintage copper kettle. <laughs> nice one, that is. Um, 40 quid. I actually really like that. Can't stop looking at it. I might polish it all up or I might just leave as is. But yeah, let's just say 40 quid. This here, the viewer, boots one, nothing special. I ain't getting that out. All the viewer. It's just that. So, ooh, gave it away. Um. 10, 15 pound, if it was the, a decent one, about 30. Now this, oh, I think this came with that one actually. Again, that's all in its polystyrene, but it's just a uh, vintage pocket camera. 10, 15 pound for that as well. <clears throat> right, this here, the bloke getting it off, um, Flash gun, that also came with that antenna. So now I'll tell you. This year was um, pictured, pictured like like this, and obviously it's done online, yeah. So you can't really tell what is in here or what material that was made. Now I can obviously read it better. And it's just empty bloody boxes for fillers, but they're vintage and they still look pretty cool. But it, it was just labelled as a, a pub lot, so I bid it on it. Let's see what I paid for it. Um, £6.94 and as he was getting it off the van, he bloody dropped it all over the floor. But it's just got a few vintage 
beer mats. You'd be surprised that some vintage beer mats can actually go for good money. When I say good money, I mean good money for a, a bloody beer mat. Like, for example, certain beer mats, just this many, you could get like 10 quid for it. You'd be surprised. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, vintage little Paris thing, look at that. Um, it's just full of pub stuff, so different branded matchboxes, still got the matches in from different pubs, there could be a market for it, especially if the pub's in the bout no more, and say if someone had like their wedding there, or wedding reception there, oh that's a cool one, so again some of these could be worth five, ten pound, if there's any rare ones in there. Or just bundle the whole lot, which is probably what I'll do. So let's just bundle all that together, say 30 quid. Let everything come in. Oh, actually, back being bent over. This here is a, a vintage power worker. I ain't going to show you how strong I am because I don't want to um, make you all jealous. But. That's an easy £20. Easy. You know what I'm saying? And then a vintage shopping board game. I looked this one up before bidding on it. And I couldn't actually find it anywhere. I didn't do a proper in-depth look. Just gave it a little, a little quick look. So let's just say, if I can find it, 20 quid. I found it. It's in my hand. Um, um all right. Keyboard with Casio. I'll test it, see if it works. Um include a charger in it. If it works, I would say thirty quid. If it don't work, bang it in the bin. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> There's stuff rattling around in there. That's not good. Right. Ooh. Got a cut on my finger. I just caught it. I've got a little um, thing for vintage bats and stuff. I've got loads of them over there. don't know if you can see, so it's a bit dark. But there, there, and down there. I get between 10 and 15 pound. You get the rare, like some of the rarer models or the more expensive ones. You can get like, I think I've managed to get 50 quid for one before. But yeah, let's just, you know, rackets. Rackets, that's what I meant, not bats. So I won't show you them all in detail, but they're all just vintage brands. Printed models. Oh, we'll have a look at this one. This one looks like a nice one. See, that one there could be like a 20 30 pound racket. You, with rackets, you always got to make sure that they're not bent, where like sometimes kids will just smash it on the floor and bend it, make sure all the strings are not popped out. So to make sure they're all in shape, still got their strings. So if you're going around the car bay or something, don't just pick that up like that and buy it, because you could get home and find out someone's banged it on the floor. So 10 to 15 for each. Let's just say 10 pound for argument's sake. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You could probably get all that in a car boot for like three or four quid, depending on how good your haggling skills are. This year was labelled as walking sticks and an umbrella. Got it on. 
and correct me if I'm wrong, but does that look like a walking stick? Hold it with your finger or something. Yeah, I picked out about that. Um, there's a couple of other guys, literally just a polished stick. Like what on earth? I'm small, and that's even small for me. But yeah, that's my mistake for not. Well, it's not my mistake. It's just I have to tell when it's on, online and you're going off a picture. Looks like that could be a vintage umbrella. Anyway, bundles of walking sticks sell for good money. When I say good money, I mean like 30, 40 quid for a bundle of 10 or something. Umbrellas, I've never really looked into that, but I'll look into it. Probably paid a couple of quid for this, so I ain't too fussed. Oh, it's a bit of mold. Star Wars toy. So it said online. I've never watched Star Wars, so I can't say if it definitely is Star Wars. But. Not a clue if it is Star Wars. But if it is. I don't know the age. Me either. Because I can't see any writing on it. Let's just say. If it's vintage and, and if it is Star Wars, it's £20, £30. Pound. <sighs> Next, we have this little uh, vintage fold up stool. I've got a few of these, different versions, different colours listed for around the £50 pound mark. They've all got watches on. I think I sold one. What did I just say I got them listed for? I don't I think. 40 or 50 pound. And I've sold <coughs> one recently for 40. The others have all got watches on. I get offers quite often. But let's just say comfortably 40 pound for that. Clean it up. I think it's meant to be blue or green. I don't know, I'm colour blind. Like genuinely. <laughs> you know the score with the records. Flip for them, pick out any that's worth selling on their own. If there is any, if not, it just gets added to the pile and then I'll sell it as a bulk lot. These here. These are quite nice. So, like three Ferraris. £15 for all three as a bundle. Maybe 20 Let's just say 20 for three Ferraris. These here, again, I've not actually done these, these versions before. They're like box sets of records, I believe. But from reseller, John, he said in one of his videos once that you could, um, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure he said 10 or 20 pound for a box set, but I'm guessing they have to be like half decent. Anyway, I've got loads here. Let's just say I get five or a set. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. That one would go, obviously, because people on. Watch my nation street. So 55 for that lot. Now these, I don't know, not these ones. Does anyone else remember back in the day in co-op? Used to get these. When you spend a certain amount, you get fives. And then I think there was twos as well. Oh, this is full up. And when you fill it up, you trade it in and you get a pound off your shop and I remember these. So let me know in the comments below if anyone else remembers getting these. So, where was it? So yeah, these are both 5p ones. 
like the five we used to get like boys we used to get twos as well where it'd be a big two but yeah in the plymouth museum they got these in a glass cabinet and i thought it was pretty cool just brought back memories you know the 80s and 90s this was these might be earlier versions because the ones are these are just actual paper back when i was a kid these was um like magazine material it's like glossy this is just matte paper but anyway brought back memories so let me know in the comments below if anyone else remembers these and co-op co-op and this is just other versions from other shops. Oh, these are full as well. One more. I might try and go down co-op, cash them in, see what they say. Wonder if there's any expiry date. Paid a few quid for this. Literally just for memories. I'll look into it because they could potentially be worth some money as well. Anyway, less of uh, that going down memory lane. So vintage tin, I sell vintage tins. Not a lot, because they're slow burners, but they can. some rare tins can go for silly money. Silly, silly money. But I could easily get a tanner for that tin. Anyone, um... Give me any more information on this tin. Just because I'm lazy and I don't want to research it. But yeah, let's say a tenner for the tin as well. For argument's sake, let's just say a tenner for all the um, saving booklets. <clears throat> What I like to do is always go out of my comfort zone and I'll try and, like on a weekly basis, I'll always pick something up that I've never picked up before just to see if it's a quick seller or a slow burner or whether there's no market at all for it. So then I know for future reference, if I ever see that item, I know to pick it up or not pick it up and I know what to pay and what not to pay. For example, this thing here, look. This is... You put your glasses on it, like what you'd see in like spec savers, or if you go on a holiday, you go in the shops and that, and you see all that filled with sunglasses. I've researched it. Some of them can go for a hundred pound collection only. Some have even been bidded on up to a hundred pound collection only. I doubt that's one of them models, but I reckon. I could comfortably get 50 quid and I I imagine that will be a slow burner but 50 quid in it 50 quid geez and then got these here the lovely little fabric ones you watch it rip oh. got another one here so we've got a matching pair Obviously, it's not the season to be jolly. Christ. In the summer, you get 40 quid for a pair. Easy. Easy. One of the branded. No, just generic ones. But yeah, 40 pounds for a pair. If they was the proper vintage ones and branded, I've sold one before for 80 quid. So that's that. Next we have a Sony Handy Cam. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's the small DVD ones. Yeah, it is. So, get about 40 or 50 quid as long as it all works. I don't know how you use them. 
Yeah, 40, 40, 40 or 40, 40 or 50 quid. It's got everything it needs. Hopefully it works. Yeah, it's got all the cables, bag to go with it, ready-made bundle, battery's already on it. 40 or 50. This, oh, and it's got the instructions for it as well. Oh, that's barren and that is. I don't know what this is. Projector maybe. Let's just say a projector. Light Pro 720 in focus projector. I hope it's a projector, otherwise I'm gonna look rather silly. Now it looks like a nice one anyway, whatever it is. <laughs> Bag, instructions, cables, you name it, it's in there. I reckon. I sell some smaller projectors and I'll get good money for them. To be safe, I'll say 50 quid. But I do get a lot more for smaller versions, but that might be bigger because it's older. Is that everything from here? Nope. This here, it's just a speaker set basically. So there's a speaker surround set. There's another speaker in the bottom of that bag. 50 quid for the lot. And, um, this, my new little setup here. Doesn't look great because I've got all this junk. I meant high quality merchandise lying around. But got a nice little rug. Hung a nice bit of artwork on the wall there. Nice little heater, because it was bloody freezing in here. And this, nice. You set your little chair up, get a stick with some marshmallows. Lovely. Turn that off. Bro. Yeah, it's nice and warm up here, nice and cozy. I'm trying to get carpets, carpets? I'm trying to get little rugs just to lay them around everywhere to trick the mind into thinking it's nice and warm and cozy in here but it's far from it it is so cold and then this is just stuff that's been listed and i have to pack it away but as you can see i haven't i will get to it tomorrow what i'm going to do now is you can just follow me around while i fill the trolley with stuff for Connor to list tomorrow. Connor is a lad who works for me, my mate, my friend. And it'll be in in the morning. I'll be away picking up some more stuff from another auction. So I'm gonna get all this ready for him, ready for the morning. So he can come in and he knows anything in the trolley is for him to list. So let's find some stuff for him to list. Oh, I don't know what. You reckon I could fit that in the trolley? Right. Let's work this out, shall we? Come on up. Get these heaters. Man, that can wait. That can wait. Oh my god. I'm struggling. Connor has a target of um, minimum 35 listings a day. So I need to find a minimum 35 items to put in that. I've got this here as well. I know what you're thinking. Is it uranium glass? I've done the test and no it isn't. And I cut my finger doing it because I couldn't undo the bloody torch to get the batteries in. But yeah, 
I thought that was uranium glass. If you don't know what uranium glass is, look it up. It's nice, glows in the dark, and it sells for good money. So if that was uranium glass, I would have um, been laughing all the way to the bank, but unfortunately it's not. So hopefully I can still sell it as that. I think someone said once that that could be um, depression era glass, era glass. Yeah. yeah, don't quote me on that. But I think if I am right, they do it in green, pink and blue. Can't remember which colour is the more valuable one. But I'm going to try and sell it anyway. So right, let's ooh, pick some stuff. What can we give it? That's what three, four, five items do. Another thirty to go. Got the uh, vintage Sony handy cam and the projector. Seven items. Don't even think I'll be able to pick that. So the electric coin meter and the Humax free view box of nine. How many did I say that was? Nine. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I bet you're surprised I can count this I. Eighteen, get in there. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 
Did I say 23 already? No. 24. Struggling. Seven more. Can we do it? I know, I know, I know, I know. Thirty. So it's 36 orders now. That'll keep them uh, busy. Quite a bit of artwork for him to list tomorrow. He's gonna hate me. So I'm gonna leave it there. It's probably gonna be a bit of a long one. It's gonna be raw and uncut. So it is what it is. Hopefully you took something from that. And so basically I've just shown you two different auctions, what I think I'll get for the stuff, what I paid in total. My new little setup, nice and cosy down in the packing area. And then I've picked Connor's orders for tomorrow. Orders, listings. So we're test, clean, 
all the normal stuff listed online while I go to another auction house. So that's it for today's video. It's getting a bit late now. I'm going to go on, probably carry on working from home. So if you can give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.